everybody, welcome back to Smoke Red Barbecue's YouTube channel. So today, I wanna take you all back to a, to a particular time, a particular restaurant you, you may probably have all been into. That's gonna be the, the Brazilian uh, steakhouses, food houses, buffet style, when all you need for steak greatness is just a little, a little green disc, and they will keep coming back to you, giving you more steak right off the, Wrap the rotisserie. Uh, they'll just uh, cut it, cut cut it before you, and uh, it's it's a great experience all around. If you don't end up leaving with the meat sweats, you 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 didn't do it right. I wanted to re re recreate that today. However, I don't have a rotisserie. I do have barbecue skewers. I think we actually have used them for for s'mores in the past. So anyway, we did we use those. I was gonna say prime. These are Wagyu top sirloin eight ounce steaks from Snake River Farms. I did a prime. Mm -hmm. So yeah, absolutely delicious. It was, it was, uh, it hurt me very much to actually cut into these steaks to, to prepare them for the rotisserie, but we, we did it anyway. And once we had them cut up, we went ahead and put them in a plastic bag with a lot of garlic. And also we put them in, in there with a lime and a little bit of veg vegetable oil, got them all mixed up overnight. And then, in the and then this afternoon we took them out and put them on the skewer. So now we then put them on the big green egg have my cast iron grates set up without the uh, the quarter sections into them so the attention the idea was so they would just hang uh, in between the the, the quarter sections and uh, be, be, be I could rotate them pretty easily and efficiently and they wouldn't fall down <laughs> yeah well, one or two may have fallen down in the charcoal no no big deal there it, uh, it it cleans right off and then once they looked a very nice color, we put them over just direct heat for about 30 seconds until they were looking absolutely beautiful. The only ingredient we put on uh, after we took them out of the marinade was just kosher salt. And so now, without any further ado, can you do me a favor, kiddo? Can you take off the tin foil? Oh yeah. Daddy did that. Okay, so. Remember, I think a restaurant maybe we were into one time, they had the big stick and then they did like this. What the? They just cut it off for you. Right? Just like that. Obviously, uh, much smaller skewer it's than, than what, what they have in the restaurant, but same same premise. And it's like a, what's it called? Um, kebab. Mm hmm? Well, kind of, yeah. Mm hmm. And it's much, much more longer. And it's made of metal. Yeah. And it has this little curl in it. Mm hmm. It's pretty good. Wagyu it's steak. Chewy. Yeah. Wagyu steak's absolutely delicious. And just all the, all the fat is rendering out. You can get that taste to it. Very good. I probably let it rest too, too long. I was getting the camera set up for, for the shot. Should have just enjoyed the steak for, for what it is instead of trying to get the, uh, the perfect video. Uh, any questions about this thing? Absolutely amazing. Definitely a lot more, a lot, lot, a lot of steak here for the family, so uh, no, no complaints there. Daddy has a Did I just put in? No, oh, big, big bite. Until next time, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and keep barbecuing America. Daddy has a green mm -hmm. barbecue. Yep, and we are saving money for her own barbecue. So, uh, right. Yeah, so uh, click down in the description for all those Amazon li affiliate links. Click on those, and we'll uh, send some send some money her her, her way to, to to save up, right, kiddo? Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Please stick around. Uh, follow some more videos on my channel, and uh, have a great day, everybody. Bye. Cheers. Go for it. It looks it looks much much more lighter. I got some garlic on it. There's a white thing. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Probably salt actually. <laughs>